Your Washington Wizards were up five at the half, trying to start a five-game road trip with the dub. And in the second half, Kyle Kuzma gets activated from deep, but he wasn't the only one. Bradley Beal as well. By the way, Brad had 22 points for the night, two for two from deep. But it was down the stretch. It wasn't offense that was going to seal the deal for the Wizards. Oh, no. It was defense. DeLon Wright with the inbound steal to end it all. Final score, 127 to 126. Your Washington Wizards now have three wins in a row. Not only three wins overall, but that's three in a row against the Dallas Mavs. Jason Smith and Wes Hall here with you on postgame. Chris, uh, excuse me, Chris, Drew, and Megan momentarily. I got a lot going on in my head right now. <laughs> got a lot because I'm happy about this. Defense down the stretch, Jason. That's the type of victory that you want to have. You know, Luca was a dominant force out there, yeah. 41 and 15. But when it came down to the, the crunch time, they were throwing different defenses at him, and Luca was handling it for the most part. But you saw the double teams come as soon as they did a pick and roll, and they switched on him. Luca saw the double teams, got it out of his hands, and relied on his teammates to keep them in the game. But when it came down to the last second shot, Delon Wright saw. Hey, you know what? Luca's not trying to score this thing. He's trying to give it up. He has a knack for staying in those passing lanes, uses those long arms, gets the steal, and a smart decision. Rather than trying to fall out of bounds, call a timeout maybe, just kind of throws it up in the air, lets the ball do the work, hits yeah. off the backboard, and guess what? Wizards dub. Sticks, they tried it twice. Twice. That's in a row. In a row. The I'm same like, you, play. you did a side out, and you tried to do inbounds, skip to Luca. And, and the inbounds goes to the corner. And they did it once. The line almost got the first one. Yep. And then they ran it again. The line was like, fool me once. You took what <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> fool me twice. Yeah. Can't, you can't fool me twice. Can't, can't fool me <laughs> But seriously, when you talk about DeLon Wright, this is one of those moments where we were like, one of the greatest things that we appreciate about him is being one of the best on-ball defenders on the team. And then here it is tonight with a game on the line. You see him use that wingspan that he and I, I talked to him a couple weeks ago. And I was like, DeLon, just take your arm out. It's just kind of curious. We're both 6'5". His arms aren't longer than mine. I was like, dude, I'm surprised. I said, so what's the difference? He said, I just anticipate. I know that I can be somewhere before that they can before they recognize it. So I'm really proud of what Delon was able to do tonight. He has that knack. He can anticipate going out there and realizing, hey, I may not have the physical attributes, but I have that mental attribute to go out there and I can predict if you're going to shoot, if you're going to pass, and I can get in those passing lanes. And the fact that he does that on a consistent basis, coming off the bench, he had three steals tonight yeah. alone. Game-winning steal. On to the next city, please. That's huge. I, I'm assuming he's going to get the belt right. If the belt Has travels. To. Gotta Has give, to. Got to give him the belt. Defensive player right there. Put the belt on. That's what it's all about. <laughs> but I want to bring in our live vote right now. Get everybody involved at home. You're watching this. I know you enjoyed it. So go to NBCSportsWashington.com slash vote. Biggest performance off the bench. You got Denny, Will Barton, and DeLon Wright. All three of them right there. Your voting is what matters most. Use your phone if you want to use the QR code. It's right there as well. I want to bring in Chris and Drew and get their thoughts on this performance as well. Guys, down the stretch, I talked about it in the crossover. Normally known for big game shots to end it. Tonight, Drew, it was about a big game stop. I'll tell you what. If you can look at that last play again, if DeLon Wright does not get his hand on that ball, Spencer Dinwiddie is wide open with nobody there to contest him for an open three-point shot. You talk about a deflection. I mean, look at this right there. If, if that gets to Dinwiddie, he's wide open. And so you take the gamble and you choose right right here. Usually, and Luke is smart. In double teams, he knows he does not want to throw that ball high because guys are going to be jumping. So what does Luka do? He throws the bounce pass. But who's a step ahead of Luka on this play? DeLon Wright. He sniffs out that bounce pass, steals it, and what are we talking about? And then has the mindset of, you know what, let me just throw this up, get out of here, let the time run out. We did our job. But play today, one thing I said at halftime will be the difference in that second half was the ability to keep continuing to get to the foul line. And that first half, the Wizards were 15 for 19 from the free throw line. In the second half, 17 for 22, combining 32 for 41 from the foul line. That has to be a season high. <laughs> you know, there was a couple of things that happened late where you're like, no, Gafford fouls out. Beal with that turnover, and you're thinking, okay, how will the Wizards respond? Well, the way that they responded was making a defensive stop. And we've said DeLon Wright's name so much this year that it's just part of the game. You just expect him to have two steals. We showed it during the broadcast. He actually had three tonight. You know who else had three steals tonight? Denny Avdia. You talk about somebody that accepted the responsibility of coming out and showing up after having an offer 
against the Orlando Magic. That kid had a double-double tonight, 15 points to go along with 10 rebounds. Tommy Shepard was sitting here right with us the first time out of the first quarter talking about after making that trade with Hachimura, this was the kid that they have targeted to get someone to get more minutes. And just look at the guys who are ready tonight. Hey. Right. Obvia, Will Barton. Will Barton. Can we put some respect on his name right now? Do it, now, Drew. Do it, there. Drew. The, I've been sitting there the whole month. OG stiff. No hot packs. Checks in the game. And gets you a solid eight. <laughs> a solid eight in the first half. <laughs> Drew, to your point, we talk about bench performance tonight. 39 points off the bench over the Mavericks, 26. And, and Jason, when we look at the productivity of these guys in the first half alone, we were saying that the Wizards bench was putting up numbers. Denny was already giving you nine at that half. You were getting seven out of the line, right? And you talk about Wills as well. Everybody showed up to the table. You got in, you brought something to the table. I love Denny Avdia's performance tonight. 15 points, 10 rebounds, but he got the job done by getting to the rim and getting to the free throw line. For him, maybe his perimeter shot is developing. What do you do? Use your athleticism, try and get to the basket, get some easy buckets going to the rim. And if you don't get an easy bucket, challenge people, get that contact and get to the free throw line. That'll get you more comfortable out there. Rather than sitting out there on the perimeter and jacking up shots, the way you do it is the way he did it tonight. What were those two moves that Denny had? Denny had two cool moves tonight. One was a sidestep where he avoided the charge that ended up being a block. And the other was like a little step back, little floater in the mid range. Drew, when did he start putting that uh, in his bag? Yeah, crossover. Are you, you, yeah, you missing one, Wes? Yeah. Oh, the crossover right, too. The right, yeah. the left crossover. We haven't seen that in the, the entire season or, or since Denny's been drafted. I haven't seen a right, the left crossover. And then the ability to finish, even though he used his right hand. <laughs> we're going to give him some time. Eventually, he'll get there with the left hand. But I love the steps that we're seeing that Denny's uh, taking offensively, and we know what he provides on the defensive end. And he's going to have more opportunity now uh, with the trade with Rui Hachimura going to the Lakers. Hey, Wes. Go ahead, Chris. I said these five games. This was one of the ones where I didn't know about. Yeah. Now, you yeah. steal that first one. Now you go to Houston tomorrow. I think they're the second youngest team in the league. We know what they're doing. If you can get that one, now all of a sudden you've got this road trip starting. As a wise man once said, we're getting it cracking in here. So mm -hmm. now you won three in a row. Two of those games you've won wire to wire, and then you come into this building and beat Luka. Pretty impressive. That's what it really comes down to is building, gaining and building momentum. We were curious. I asked you guys in the crossover when we were in pregame about how to maintain the momentum off the last two wins. And now, Chris, to your point, what are you taking most from this particular game that can be the motivating through line through the rest of this road trip? That's easy. When adversity hits, you got enough. And it's defense. You make stops down the stretch. You put DeLon right. Look at their last five. Here's the five-man lineup at the end of the game, guys. It was Kuzma and Beal, Avdia, Anthony Gill, and DeLon Wright. Guys, what's super impressive, and I, and I have to be honest with this, all this happened in the absence of Chris Aftrazingas. Again, once again, with a shortened roster, this team found a way to get another win. Grit and grind it out. Chris and Drew, I appreciate you. We got back-to-back, -back, so that means you guys are off to Houston. Get some rest. We'll see you tomorrow night, same time. We'll do it all over again. <laughs> look at look at Drew. <laughs> 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 Wizards fans, let's go to head coach Wes Sunzel Jr. at the postgame podium.